Notice what Iblis did to explain himself. Not only did he clearly state his superiority out of his arrogance, but he also used his own logic, his reasoning, his rationale to justify his action that I am superior because I'm made from fire and fire is superior from clay. That was his logic. And let's put this verse in the context of our lives as well. Why do we disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is it not the same reason as Iblis? Isn't it arrogance? We defy the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we think we know better. And we also follow exactly what shaitan did. We use logic and reasoning to justify our actions. As an example, if you ask someone today, why do you put money in a bank and take interest riba on your savings? He will say, it is not riba, it is actually a profit that is being shared with me. And although that is completely incorrect, absurd, again, this is what people say out of their own reasoning. Another example could be when you see people buying lottery tickets, which is a form of gambling and clearly prohibited. But when you ask them, why are you partaking in gambling? You hear the reasoning, this is not gambling. This is just playing a game of chance and trying your luck. Allahu Akbar. Such is our behavior today, which is very similar to what shaitan did many, many years ago. And in all cases, we're exhibiting our arrogance by considering that our intellect, our logic, is superior to the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aliyahu billah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us clarity in our understanding and make us among those who say, Samina wa ta'ana, we hear and we obey, instead of falling into the trap of logic and arrogance, similar to Iblis. Ameen.